At diagnosis for patients with idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis, um, I tend to try and explain to them firstly what the disease is, how I think it is caused in terms of repetitive injury occurring to the lung that, that then triggers scarring, and then I like to discuss how I think we can best prevent that repetitive injury and how we can also try and prevent or at least slow the condition down. And I think an important part of the discussion is, is surrounding what we try and what we are trying to achieve with our treatment. Uh, so I think in idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis our treatment aims are perhaps different to those in other diseases. In other diseases we perhaps hope to reverse the disease or at least improve things. In idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis I try and make it clear that our treatment expectations are to prevent the disease from getting worse. So the, the best I can hope from my treatment is, is to arrest the condition and to stop things changing. Following that, it's really a discussion of, of the options that I think are available to patients with the condition. Uh, and those include approaches to try and prevent injury to the lung, to try and prevent um, episodes of infection which may also injure the lung, so the use of antibiotics, anti-acid therapies to prevent uh, gastric acid reflux which may be one of the triggers for injury to the lung.